The origins of the Symbolist movement and the emergence of modernist literary themes can be traced back to the influential figure of Charles Baudelaire, 1821-1867. Baudelaire, a renowned French poet, played an important role in shaping the intellectual landscape of his era and laying the foundation for the Symbolist literary movement. He was a poet of profound influence, and he asserted that everything within one's environment could be interpreted as a symbol and he rejected the idea of simplistic and direct meanings. He proposed that to access the profound truths concealed within symbolic representations, individuals needed to engage their imagination and acknowledge the fantastical or even grotesque aspects of both objects and the social milieu. He bemoaned the fact that individuals residing in respectable bourgeois society often remained oblivious to the intricate complexities of the world that enveloped them. Poets, in his view, set themselves apart from others by delving into the symbolic dimensions of language and personal experiences. Baudelaire harbored a profound admiration for the American poet Edgar Allan Poe and undertook the task of translating Poe's works. He regarded Poe as an exemplar among poets who skillfully wielded symbols steering clear of the cliches inherent in everyday language. The symbolist poets of fin de siècle France are often seen as bridging the gap between their romantic predecessors and their surrealist successors. Their works are built upon expansive, irrational and intuitive connections. The symbols they employ are enigmatic world emblems, gaining supernatural significance without a defined narrative or context, contrasting with the predominantly emotional world that pervades their poetry. Among the prominent symbolists, Baudelaire stands out. In 1857, he unveiled his significant work Les Fleurs du Mal, this collection explored previously forbidden themes and techniques, earning Baudelaire both acclaim and condemnation as a blasphemous and controversial author. Symbolist writers aim to convey individual and emotional experiences through intricate and suggestive language rich in symbolism. As Mallarmé articulated, the purpose of symbolism is not to depict the thing itself but the impact it evokes. Baudelaire, a Parisian by birth, led a bohemian existence, adopting the artistic persona of a dandy who championed beauty and held a disdainful distance from the materialistic and commercial bourgeois world, embracing the role of the flaneur. Baudelaire imbued many of his poems with symbolist elements. Les Fleurs du Mal, published in 1857, faced obscenity charges due to the inclusion of some lesbian verses. Baudelaire is credited with introducing one of the earliest modernist concepts, a portrayal of the ugliness, sensuality and depravity of a city life that inspired modernist writers like T.S. Eliot and Ezra Pound. For him, modernity offered a counterbalance to progress. Art, while timeless, also thrived on innovation, such as the advent of visual art. One of his most famous and controversial poems is The Litanies of Satan, found in Les Fleurs du Mal. Symbolists believe that poetry's essence lay in craftsmanship involving labor and calculation. Baudelaire's poem demonstrates meticulous craftsmanship with its well-structured form, figurative language and abandoned symbols. It follows the litany structure closely, transitioning from preaching to prayer. The repetition of the sentence, O Satan, take pity on my long misery, underscores parallelism. The poem sympathizes with the devil and even praises him, 
personifying death as Satan's partner in crime and hope as charming but impulsive. Unlike the spontaneous overflow of emotions seen in romantic poems, Baudelaire's work is deliberate and calculated. Furthermore, the poem is set apart from human interaction and personal experiences, lacking moral or social utility. It exists independently from Baudelaire's own life as a devout Catholic priest, contradicting the poem's praise and prayer for Satan. This aligns with symbolist ideals, as symbolist artists and poets believe that art should be divorced from moral concerns, embodying the principle of art for art's sake, as expressed by Gautier. The poem portrays Satan as a lord of the rejected and oppressed, with the speaker beseeching Satan's pity in a world dominated by God's rule. Although it provoked outrage, the poem doesn't necessarily reflect the author's devotion to the devil, but rather showcases several symbolist characteristics using symbols to convey deeper meaning and evoke an alternate reality. Baudelaire drew significant inspiration from Edgar Allan Poe, penning three major essays about him and translating some of his works. He highlighted the contrast between Poe's sensibility and the materialistic values he perceived in his own country. While Poe vehemently opposed utilitarian literature, Baudelaire's stance was less strident. The late 19th century recognized that poetry could possess utilitarian value alongside its artistic merit. Throughout most of his essays, Baudelaire channeled his personal sympathies through Poe's viewpoints. According to the poetic principle, a poem's essence lies in uplifting the spirit, avoiding the heresy of conveying a lesson, be it about emotion, truth or morality. Baudelaire, like Coleridge, viewed imagination as breaking traditional boundaries and forming new connections rooted in fundamental imperatives within human subjectivity, within the soul itself. While truth and morality once infiltrated the aesthetic world, they were now submerged under the influence that shaped aesthetics, despite Poe and Baudelaire's departure from convention. Baudelaire asserted, Nature is ugly and I prefer the monsters of my imagination to the triteness of actuality. He believed that the true poet should rely on imagination, not divine providence or canonical truths and morals. His libertine writings, especially those on lesbianism, sparked controversy and legal trouble. Baudelaire rejected optimism, finding inspiration in the idea of original sin and humanity's permanent damage, which drove his creation of Le Fleur du Mal. Baudelaire's scandalous character, marked by contradiction, ambiguity and sinuous complexity, continues to fascinate us. His work defies straightforward interpretation and those who delve into it seek a deeper understanding of his writings. While readers may prefer clear lines, Baudelaire thrived on contradiction, ambiguity and all things intricate. Nevertheless, his profound depth remains an enduring source of intrigue for us all.